Hello campers, this is going to be a video review of Fenske Lake Campground, including a drive-through showing all the campsites. Fenske Lake is located just north of Ely up the Echo Trail. It's too small to show on this map, but that's approximately where it is. Now, this campground also features a very nice one-mile hiking trail that goes in a loop, partly uh, going along the lake and then also in the woods and then back into the campground. You also have a nice uh, swimming beach, although you can swim off the campsites if you have one on the water. And a beach is nice, although it can get noisy. Uh, a lot of kids screaming and stuff if you're in a campsite nearby, which can be a little annoying at times. It's also a very nice lake. It's uh, not too big. It's somewhat narrow, so it doesn't get really rough, and it's very good for kayaking and canoeing. Uh, Fenske isn't really a great fishing lake. There are... Uh, pike and bass in, but uh, it's not one of the better fishing lakes, although you can portage uh, to other lakes from Fenske, and there are also some uh, lakes nearby that you can uh, carry your kayak or canoe on uh, to other lakes like Nell's Lake and Little Long Lake are nearby. Okay, let's do a little uh, campground review here for Fenske Lake Campground here in uh, Superior National Forest, northern Minnesota. So we're at the entrance. You know, you can uh, just show up, do a fee deposit box, but a lot of these sites are usually taken. So let's just drive. This isn't a very big campground, so we'll just do a little drive by. You can see the campsites in the loop. All right, here we go. First site's the campground host, right over here. They do have firewood, campground host has firewood. And over here is where a hiking trail crisscrosses. There's a one mile hiking trail that circles in a loop out into the forest and then comes up along the lake. And this is site two. Uh, not bad for a small trailer or camper or tent, obviously. There's trash there. This is where you get water. Water thing's kind of a pain. It kind of sprays it out. Okay, this campground has a pretty good sites. They're spread apart, very private. Um, pretty quiet. But it's pretty heavily used. I mean, it's uh, some of these campgrounds up here you know, are almost always mostly vacant. This one isn't one of them. So site three, room for a pretty good size RV. So site three. You can see the bathrooms up here are spread around. They're pretty clean bathrooms. One of them smells god awful near us, but they're nice and clean. Most of them are okay. They have a lot of trash cans spread around. Okay, this is site four. Uh, there's a small RV there. So there's room for a pretty good sized RV there. Uh, pretty good site. All right, now we're coming up on the right. We have sites that are on the lake. Five is a tent only site, really. And there's lake access there, although you may not be able to uh, launch a canoe or kayak there. Some of them you can't. Here's six. Uh, this might be ten only, although you could park an RV there. I don't know if they allow RVs there or not. Okay, there's uh, another garbage area. Okay, so this is site seven. There is a small RV parked here, so they do allow it. And it can, has lake access. Although they're steep, a lot of these are steep cliffs like bluffs overlooking, so they're not all easy like if you wanted to swim. A lot of them are though. Site nine, back there, there's room for a decent size RV. Site eight, um, could do an RV, there's tents there now, but there's room for a smaller RV, site eight. Okay, now the restroom. Site 10. Okay, this is a tent only site. It's a nice site for tents. Uh, you have good access to the water. I think it's got on, overlooking a bluff on the lake, very pretty. Site 11, same thing. 
Uh, this is probably 10 only. You could fit an RV there. I don't know if they allow it, but you could fit one there. Okay, they have like a little log house there. It's open with picnic tables and stuff in there. Open area, good for walking the dogs. This is our site, site 12. This is probably the nicest RV site. Um, there's room for a small RV. It's on room for a big RV. And then you walk down, you got a big open area there. So that's pretty nice. You have access to the lake. You can launch a canoe and kayak there easily down at the lake, which we do. Okay, up here you come to the uh, parking area. And they have a beach here, a nice beach and picnic area. It's real nice. It can get loud, though. On warmer days, there's a lot of kids screaming and stuff down there. Um, which being next to that is the one thing I don't like about our site. It gets kind of loud. There's again the uh, trail crossing. It's a nice little one mile trail. You know, you can do it for exercise. You know, it's a nice view once you get to the lake. Okay, here's site 13. Uh, small RV, maybe. Tent mostly. site 15 this is a probably good one if you have a really big RV there's a lot of room here for a big RV so that's probably your best big RV site site 15 okay and that's all of the sites I'll show you a little bit from the beach of the beach area picnic area okay we're at Finsky. I'm going down the trail of, from our campsite to the water to the lake and you can see the lake and the beach and picnic area and there's a little fishing pier too the fishing on this lake is not very good so i can't recommend it to come here to fish it's just not very good it is a great swimming lake very clear water uh, good snorkeling too i've snorkeled and it's very rocky big boulders down trees it's really cool to look at there's a lodge fenske lodge right across our cabins right across the way And right over there, if you can see it, is the beach and the swimming area. And the lake goes on out here. So like I said, swimming and stuff is nice. You pretty area to kayak and canoe, and it does connect into some other lakes. You can portage into some other lakes from here, which have a little bit better fishing. You just consult a map, Superior National Forest, and uh, see Fenske.